Every time I take my eagle out, I get butterflies in my stomach. It's this dichotomy between a heavy bird on your fist that just instantly becomes lighter than air. You get to cultivate a really unique relationship. There are very few people flying eagles in the United States, and of that, only a handful of women. But my very good friend, Jamaica, is beginning her journey into eagle falconry. The ability to be mentored by a woman, I thought that that was uh, something unique that I shouldn't pass up that opportunity. Falconry is the ancient art and tradition of using a trained bird of prey to hunt its natural quarry in the wild. I spent a lot of time in Mongolia apprenticing under Kazakh eagle hunters. When I started, I felt pretty out of place. Because I didn't have that hunting experience and I was a girl, it made me really fortify my passion and persevere because it was hard in the beginning. I've admired her from the very beginning. Her journey into falconry was different than most. The gumption she had as a teenager to go to Mongolia and learn about eagle falconry, that's a rare thing. Hey boy. Got a boy. A little over a year ago, I got a call from a friend who had found an eagle standing in the road about a mile from my house. It was close to death. So I took it to the vet that afternoon and participated in, in rescuing that eagle. Falconry is pretty much the only way at this point that we know for sure allows that eagle a reasonable chance at survival by helping them through that period where they're learning how to catch things. I made it my life's mission to get an eagle permit and acquire an eagle through an established rehab program that works with falconers. There's a lot of knowledge involved in falconry. There's also a lot of ways to do it wrong. It's really not necessarily instinctive. I would not want to get into eagle falconry without a good mentor to contact. There you go. Knowing that Lauren was available to be a mentor to me was a huge part of being willing to make that decision. To get inside the mind of an eagle the first time is a, it can be a difficult experience. You just have to find your bearings and understand where an eagle is coming from in order to create a good fit, confident hunting eagle. So essentially that's what I'm helping Jamaica do. When you find someone that has that passion and is willing to share it with you, it's, it's really a special thing. The bond that you develop with someone who gives of you their time the way that Lauren is giving to me will be something I'll treasure forever. And hopefully someday I'll pass that on to somebody else.